We're going to discuss now the concept of gravitational field strength, which is represented by the symbol G. Now, according to Newton, G equals to G, big G, M over R squared. Now, what does this mean? So, suppose I have some mass over here. Typically, this might be a planet or a star, right? And I am interested to study a point, let's say over here, that is some distance R from the center of gravity of this mass. And I want to figure out how strong is the gravitational field at this point. Then I use this formula. So G, this G over here, is, gravita is the gravitational constant, which equals 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Okay, and I'll simply multiply it by this mass. And I'll simply divide it by the square of this distance over here. Very simple. Okay, and so of course, right, we also know this is a vector. Okay, the units is newtons per kilogram, right? And so this will give us the magnitude of this field and the direction, of course, will always point towards the mass that creates this field. And so, for example, we might be able to relate to this now. Okay, we have been uh, very comfortable with the fact that G on the surface of the Earth is 9.81, about there. All right, and so if I look at the Earth now, then I'm basically trying to find the gravitational field strength here. Right, and so what I should do if this is the radius of the Earth, then G at the surface of the Earth is simply the big G mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the Earth squared. And if you try this out, you'll get about 9.81 meters per second squared. Maybe a little bit different, and eh? that's because the Earth isn't really a perfect sphere. All right, now, um, and so in reality, when we move into outer space. Right? We are not going to get a situation where there's only one mass in the vicinity. You might get a situation where there are multiple masses, so maybe M1, M2, M3, and you may be required to figure out what is the gravitational field strength at a particular point, say over here. Now, when you do this, remember that the net gravitational field strength at any point is the vector sum okay, of all the individual uh, G's at that point. And so what do I mean by that? So there will be a gravitational field here due to M2. There will be a gravitational field here due to M3. And there will be a gravitational field here due to M1, right? And so we first have to calculate each of these individually first using the formula G M1 over R1 squared for this guy, G M2 over R2 squared, G M3 over R3 squared. And then we have to do a vector sum. And so if you remember how that works, you do a tip to tail, right? Something like that. All right. I don't know how this is going to work. And then that will be your net. Of course, it's very difficult to do with three forces. So I would suggest when you do a vector sum for something like this, you resolve everything into their vertical and horizontal components, sum up the components, and find the net gravitational field strength. 